The powerful coming-of-age drama Blackbird hits theaters on April 24th, and the film tells the story of a young singer struggling to come to terms with his sexuality in the Deep South. Let's take a look. So now we know. Now we know why we're being punished. Chrissy is the price we pay for your sin, for your sin and your weakness. Randy, how could you? How could you be so selfish? And you know the Lord is watching us. You know we're being tested. But so what? So what? You still indulge in your depravity. I'm ashamed of you, Randy. Before God, you have shamed us. I cannot believe you crawled forth from my body into this earth to fornicate fruitlessly like a craven beast. Am I to have no children? Is that my fate? To lose the both of you? Mom, I'm sorry. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Don't you tell me you're sorry when you're not. When you're standing there, still stinking of him and thinking of him, wondering is he thinking of you, trying to figure out when you're going to see him next, aren't you? Aren't you? Yes. <laughs> you disgust me. But you will never, never make me give up my family. Wow. wow. What an emotional scene. And Ooh. as part of our continuing coverage of the film, we now welcome the young star of Blackbird actor, Julian Walker. Hey. My <laughs> goodness, Julian. You know, you didn't have a lot of lines in that moment, but you used your face so powerfully. I mean, it's very difficult to emote like that, so kudos to you, my Thank friend. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you so and much. And to hold your own without saying much against Monique, that's very impressive. Whew. An auspicious beginning. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about your character, Randy Rousseau. What drew you to this project? Uh, one thing that really drew me to this project was how I could relate to that character. Mm -hmm. um, I'm from a, I'm from Mississippi as well. I'm actually finishing my last semester of college. You're Where still we, in school? Yes, I graduate May 8th. Right. But, um, Are you serious? Yeah, I was seriously. Not, I was not <laughs> doing what you were doing in my last semester right. of college. Uh -huh. Yeah. But um, we filmed the, we filmed Blackbird where I go to school at, and that's actually where Patrick's from, his hometown. So it was really, I could really relate to being from a small town, having a religious background, and then also being openly gay myself. So, but I can't believe that this is your first time acting. Yes. How did you land this gig right out the gate? It's a funny story because actually I did an online submission and my audition video wasn't the best video out there because I wasn't, um, I was a broadcast journalism major at the time so I didn't know how to like do a video audition or nothing like that so basically I just recorded myself and I emailed it to Patrick and he got back to me and it went from there. And so, so now what's your major yeah. in school? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Change it up a little bit after yes, this, Yes, now right? I'm a theater major with a minor in media production. Is that uh, right? Yes. So you are an overnight sensation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah. So what's it feel like to go from, you know, being a media person to just walking onto a set for the first mm -hmm. time? Well, I've always known that I wanted to be a performer mm -hmm. because I love singing. So luckily with Blackbird, I was able to sing yeah. and act. So I've always known that I wanted to be a performer. I just never knew how. And so there came a point where I was just like, okay, well, maybe I should just work behind the scenes and possibly do what you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. But then Blackbird came. Yeah, and not only did Blackbird come, so did the stars. I mean, yeah. you work alongside <laughs> Oscar winner Monique, mm -hmm. you know, veteran Isaiah Washington. These are huge stars. Huge. What type of advice did they give you? They must have given you a crash course on how to get this right. <laughs> Honestly, they were so welcoming and loving. Like, mm -hmm. the minute I met them both, they gave me, like, the warmest embrace I have ever received in my life. And one thing that I... I've taken from that experience was be courageous mm -hmm. and be you. Did they give you any tips on acting, turning for the camera, any of that stuff? Or the business in general? Have fun. That was the biggest thing that they gave really? me. You know, have fun. Let's talk about Patrick Ian Polk. My goodness, what mm -hmm. a force. I know, right? So he picks you. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there were tons of other submissions as well. I know, and little old me. And little Just old like... you. <laughs> <laughs> so do you thank him every day? Yes, <laughs> seriously. Um, we did, we've, I've been doing a lot of stuff since I've been here, and today mm -hmm. I actually turned to him and I was like, wow. Wow. I'm like, thank you so much. Did you have any idea when you submitted that, uh, that casting video that you would actually be chosen, and not nope. only chosen, but chosen for the lead? No. I actually waited to the last minute, and I was like, okay, well, at least they can tell me no through email and not hurt my feelings <laughs> in my face. <laughs> That's a good so, point. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. definitely. Okay. Well, as you've, in the past, you've been very open about your sexuality. Mm -hmm. So as a gay man in today's society, how important do you think this film is and the message that it's giving off? I feel this... This film has a very important message within, and leaving 
this film, I just hope people receive the message of love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody deserves love and be you because mm -hmm. that's what makes you perfect. And I feel like this film explains that. How were you so comfortable with being you and living your authentic truth in the Deep South? Because there's still some, you know, there's still a stigma attached to being gay, particularly as a black man in the South. Um, to be completely honest, I've never received any negativity wow. from That's being fantastic. in the South. You know, um, it's, it's what I know, it's where I'm from. So, you know, I've received a lot of love back home. And I believe my support system is amazing. My parents are amazing. My brother is amazing, my friends are amazing, and I just want, I just hope this film helps someone who was in my position when I was younger, where I felt like I was alone, yeah. or I felt like I was the only gay person yeah. in the world, and I just hope that this film is that message that I wish I had when I was little. Yeah. Well, you know, I've heard the director, Patrick, talk about how other black actors are afraid to be gay on screen because they feel that they'll get pigeonholed in those type of roles in the future. Do you have any fear about that? I honestly don't. Because I feel, if anything, I just believe that I believe in this film so much yeah. and the message that it has behind it. And I'm not afraid. <laughs> That's great. Now, you mentioned singing earlier. Mm -hmm. Are you afraid to sing here impromptu? Let's see. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> On the spot? No, <laughs> I'll warn you, I am a little under the weather. That's all right. But I'll just, I'll go. Okay. Um, Give and us this a is something. actually a song from the film. Because you sing in the film. Yes. Right. Um, what is this feeling? Am I falling in love? It's got me reeling. I just can't get enough. Lord, I'm trying to resist it, but it's so damn insistent. What is this feeling? Oh. Don't Woo! sound sick to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And that's just one reason to go check out this film. My Blackbird. Goodness. I know why Mr. Polk said yes. My yeah. goodness. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for being here and singing for us. Yeah. Right? I got goosebumps. Oh, no, amen yeah. to that. Amen All right. To that. We can check out Blackbird in theaters this Friday, yes, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Right. Congratulations. Now, when thank you win so that much. Oscar, you better make sure you yes. come back here. If that happens, I'll, this is the first, first stop. Okay. Deal. <laughs> All right. So much. And you're watching Arise Entertainment 360.